be okay? Oh, yeah. He was making an appointment to put his dog down. It always gets me. You poor thing. Well, on a happier note, congratulations, Grandma. <laughs> you did not have to do that. <laughs> when is she due? July. I'm going to be a grandma in less than a year. Do you believe that? Hey, don't answer that. <laughs> Cute. TJ Maxx. Okay. You and Summer have to take me shopping. Got to get something for a baby shower. Sure. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to talk to management. It just looks unprofessional. I've been trying to get him to meet someone else before I pass away. See, Tony's very loyal. I told him that I needed for him to start a relationship before I passed away so that he could see what it was like to move on, even if it didn't work out. I know this is a lot to take in. I told him that if he met someone, I didn't want him to tell me that we should just go on as the roommates we've become. But you can't tell the other person, whomever she is, because she'll most likely walk away. I just didn't realize that he would resist the opportunity for so long. And then when he met someone, he'd fall in love. See, I didn't plan on that. Why did you contact me? Because I'm going to be gone soon. Tony would have disappeared unexpectedly from your life for a while. I just wanted you to perhaps understand and give him some time. Please don't apologize. Look, this is a monumental event in your life, in the journey you've been on for the last year. And to find out in your 20s that you were adopted and then to lose your parents soon afterward, it sent your life into a spiral. But your perseverance shows the strength that you truly possess. All right, just remember, even if he is your biological father, you cannot control what happens only how I react. Um, he, uh, does look like you. Right? This isn't meant to upset him. He's done nothing wrong. Oh, I understand that. But he's the only one that we know had a vantage point. Right, but I don't know if he should say anything. Do we need a lawyer? Of course, you can always have a lawyer, but I'm being straightforward with you. He's a witness, he's not a suspect. Look, time is of the essence in this kind of case. Likely they're on the move, and if he's taken across a state line or to the border, we're gonna have bigger issues. The guard at the gate confirmed that there were at least two men in the front of the vehicle. Did you see them get out? I don't believe this is going to get you anything. Look, with all due respect, he's the I only one. I understand that, had a clear but you don't know my everything. brother, Jeffrey. Did you see anyone in the vehicle? Never did look for him, not once. You were never curious. Yeah. What the hell would I be curious about? What good would it do me? I met him in a bar in Boston. He was hot shit back then. <laughs> He started a bar fight for a girl, Lucy Lucy. I mean, just to impress her. He broke a bar stool over the owner's back and this big bouncer comes in. The guy is seven feet tall. And I take the beer that I've got in my hand, my sixth of the night. I smash the bouncer on his head. I mean, took him out cold. 
sliced my hand wide open. He stood up, Lucy, took me to the hospital. I'm sure it all went uphill from there. <sighs> Honey, you're the one good thing I ever did. I haven't a clue how you turned out so good. God knows, I sure tried to fuck it up. You didn't. <laughs>